It's been almost a year since tsunami and the earthquake hit on March 11th, 2011. There are so many things that are still destroyed. You can still see the cars rusting, sitting on the side of the road. We had a, such a beautiful rice field, but we never saw the rice field this year. And every time we look around, we still grieve in our hearts. This area is one of the hardest areas for the gospel because there are so many shrines, so many Buddhists, so many ancestors worshipping. But then when the summertime's purse is coming in, the darkness is pushed over by light and the people's heart is open, the home is open. Through the work of Samaritan's Purse, this community and Japan is encountering Jesus Christ in a new way. Samaritan's Purse responded just days after the tsunami by providing emergency relief items to the local church. We flew in a 747 initially, and since that time, we've served over 15,000 households through relief items, which are ongoing in winter distributions. We are currently also running our construction program. To date, we've done almost 300 houses, and that program continues. When I think of homeowners, I could see clearly that their life has been changed. They are receiving overflowing love of Jesus every single day, and now they want to return something they can do for Samaritan's Purse, something they can do for a community. Miss Ito is working with carpenters, just helping out to rebuild the house together. As they spend time together, she's learning more of God, more of the Bible, more of Jesus, and how to love people, how to give back to God. The homeowner is not only one who are touched and changed their lives, but they especially carpenters, volunteers, or national staff. あの、Every opportunity that we have that we're invited into a home, we have the opportunity to build a relationship and every home is dedicated, is prayed over. Homeowners are receiving a Bible, they're receiving a connection to the area pastor and we've had many homeowners that have come to faith through the actions and the witness of the Samaritan's Purse staff. This week, we had a five home dedications, and it was a very special time for us. It was a touching moment for carpenters and the staff to see how homeowners are blessed. We can see at the dedication that we are not only fixing their houses, but that we are actually ministering to their heart. They always share, sometimes it in tears, that how blessed they are. It's incredible just to be a, a small part of what God is doing here in Japan. We're seeing new churches that are starting in neighborhoods that never had a church. We're seeing people ask for Bibles, ask to know what is in the Word of God, and it's been an awesome opportunity to have open doors for the church here in Japan. サマリタンパスがあの、3月11日以降来なかったら、この教会はなかったです。え、ボランティアが来て泥出しをして、サマリタンズパスの体育さんたちがこのように奇跡に直してくれたんです。パス鈴木、he's actually a local here. He actually has a lot of like you see what God is doing in his life and for this neighborhood, you see Jesus in him. You see God is moving here. What Samaritan's Purse is doing is just amazing. They're actually rebuilding hope and love. 
People are still living in their homes, they're cold, they need their houses restored. We need volunteers to continue to come. They've made the difference in our program so far, but we still need volunteers. We lift up our prayers for the homeowners and the community and the everybody involved with that their lives continue to be changed, that light is coming in and His kingdom come in Jesus' name.